Center continues its activities from Yerevan. At this point, let me present the situation in the front line. And before and after the ceasefire, before the declaration of ceasefire, all night before the ceasefire and during the, the ceasefire, the battles were going on, and especially the, the southern section was very hard. So in general, the adversary was trying to do the same to advance, and it, it was countered by Armenian forces. During the, the fighting, uh, the, there were 200 dead. Uh, on behalf of the adversary, three drones, four vehicles, and several many other minor devices. Hours before declaring the ceasefire, the actions of the adversary became more serious, more severe. However, our armed forces countered and pushed them all back. At this point of time, uh, the ceasefire is by and large maintained. As it was declared, uh, although in some places uh, there were provocations, and we answered all those provocations, in particular before declaring uh, ceasefire, so intelligence uh, sabotage small groups of Azerbaijan that tried to penetrate into the city of Hadrud, and after the ceasefire, those groups were neutralized. They were not large battles, fightings. So the Defense Army made an additional declaration about this, and it was clearly stated that that uh, provocation was made before the truce fire, in order that uh, during the ceasefire it is stated. After the ceasefire, as uh, it was uh, clearly stated in the statements of the Ministers of Foreign Affairs, in one of the sections of the Defense Army, it was allowed to come closer and to collect some of the corpse. However, after that, the process was stopped because uh, these cases as well are being used for provocations. That's why we would like to make an official statement that from now on, it will be allowed only, as it is mentioned in the status, uh, at the presence of the representatives of the Red Cross. So uh, this is the general situation, and now I will try to answer your electronic questions. Kentron TV Company. In Vargozod, in his uh, video, has mentioned uh, that uh, the special squad of Turkey tried to link. I have already spoken about this uh, with much detail. Second question is again about the same question. Uh, exchange of POWs. The question has been raised. The, so the purpose of the ceasefire is exactly for this. Uh, when it is uh, exercised, we will make an additional statement about uh, the POWs and uh, did this. New Armenia TV company is uh, one of the tele one of the Telegram channels uh, have just uh, published a video where one of the mercenaries or some of the mercenaries. Uh, speak uh, with a real accent of Aretz. If this is not an official statement, then it can be, I don't know. So uh, there is no doubt that those are terrorists. Uh, please uh, follow the official evidence and official facts. After the launch of humanitarian uh, ceasefire, that do we have any casualties and how long will it last? I cannot say about our death maybe we don't have or maybe we'll have i can tell you exactly tomorrow about what happened after noon today how long will it last i don't know i think that uh, it will be announced additionally hey look why under the martial law the national security service and police uh, they banned uh, they banned the publication of the video materials from the combat zone from the light but, but uh, vargonzo is free to publish so pe uh, people called me the defense army is clearly doing 
The coordination of local and international media. So, if you've got uh, any issues, please raise it on the spot. How is the situation now in Houdrut? In Houdrut, uh, they neutralize, and we we have almost uh, completed the, the uh, neutralization of uh, sabotage groups. So how is the situation all along the world line? By and large, it is calm and quiet. Uh, as I mentioned before, the ceasefire is maintained, although there are some local provocations that we answer to about position advantages and uh, changes I cannot miss. I ask you, I beg you by using a position. Vocabulary, please do not raise the questions about changes of positions during the press conferences. Do we have casualties today or not, Aflif? Second Armenian TV channel, how is the situation in Sunik? In Sunik, the situation is okay. There are no combat activities going on in Sunik. About a Red Cross of the lab. According to agreement, uh, the, the, there should be work of the Red Cross representatives. If there are no Red Cross representatives, then we will suspend the process. Do we have a, how many corps do we have on the combat field that we have to remove? I do not really think that we can discuss uh, these issues during press conference about our uh, deceased, about our mortars. Uh, information about this is uh, regularly updated, and uh, ceasefire is an opportunity in order to provide with additional information. Please follow official information. Media. Med media. In order to ensure the security of the citizens, what are the steps taken? Nothing jeopardizes the safety and security of the citizens. That's why the local authorities, police, uh, MES, and other authorities are dealing with this slip. They have even uh, made some statements from this podium, and they work 24-7, so there is no need uh, to raise those issues at this point of time. Within exchange of POWs, uh, do you also include POWs uh, before the war? I do not have any information that, that, that there will be exchange of POWs uh, before the war. If we have this kind of information, we will release them additionally. Independent blogger. If tomorrow long-term ceasefire is signed, how favorable are the positions so I ask you not to talk about the positions uh, because the war is not over. This is ceasefire. If this kind of agreement is signed, if a long-term agreement is signed, uh, then we will present the situation. The position changes uh, forward and backwards. Uh, those uh, changes have taken place in many places. Any more questions? So instead of part, a alarm is on. I cannot come and because the war is going on. Because during the process of the war, the situation is changed, and we're talking right now here. It's quite possible that in some place a provocation is taking place, and in Stepanakert and Shushi, the alarm is on. If there is uh, this kind of situation, we will inform you. No. So 24-7, we communicate you information, but are the channels, please uh, follow the platform of unified um, information platform, follow follow me, Shushan uh, and Anna Nardalian and other uh, colleagues that present the situation with much detail. A new question. Magnus News. In Azerbaijan media, they do not spare the efforts in order to show that Armenia has violated the ceasefire. Do you have uh, any kind of facts or evidence, you know, to refute this towards the international organizations? We don't. We don't have to prove anything. Always. Uh, what did we expect? I did not expect anything else from Azerbaijanis. I don't know how long will it last. Uh, so I do not. Have have the deadline. I do not have this kind of information for how long this ceasefire will last. Thank you. Follow us. 
follow us on different platforms of Unified Information Center when we have briefings, press conferences, we work 24-7.